We have a non-native species that's come in that is very quickly steamrolling over our native species. It's a little bit distasteful, I think, to go out uh, killing owls to save another owl species. Uh, nonetheless, from a conservation standpoint, our back was up against the wall. You can't just sort of get yourself all cuddled up with one animal and say, I'll do anything, even kill off another animal to protect this. Our job in the Fish and Wildlife Service is to try to keep species from going extinct. Spotted owls are a medium-sized owl. They're brown and speckled color with spots, that's their name. They're highly dependent on older forest types, and so they're adapted to nest and hunt within a large forests with big trees. And those areas, because they're an older forest, are fairly limited in the landscape now. Their populations are dwindling to very uh, low levels, which is a great concern uh, given the amount of conservation effort that's gone into spotted owls over the last 30 years. Spotted owl conservation actually began as an effort to conserve the old growth forest of the Pacific Northwest. What was of concern was an entire ecosystem that was being devastated by the logging industry in the 1960s and 1970s. And because forests don't have any legal protections on their own, the spotted owl became the symbol of that fight because they were granted protections under the Endangered Species Act. But the spotted owl has been left with a remnant of what its historical range had been, which of course makes them much more vulnerable to any new threat like the barred owl. So the barred owl is a slightly larger, more aggressive owl. Barred owls key in on some of the same forest types that spotted owls like for their nesting areas. And so barred owls have become a conservation issue for spotted owls over time as they move into habitat occupied by spotted owls and displace them from that habitat. One of the first questions that we had is, do we have any management tools to help spotted owls survive and manage barred owls so that spotted owls could survive? And the only option that appeared to have any likelihood of success was a removal program. What we are doing is a carefully controlled scientific experiment on four different study areas in Oregon, Washington, and California, where we're removing barred owls from small localized areas and not removing them from other areas. And then we can compare how that affects spotted owls. So when we go in to do a removal, we're following up on a survey detection where they found a pair of barred owls. And we're looking for a spot that has big open branches for the birds to come and perch. We take the broadcast collar that we use that play the vocalizations of barred owls and we set it near this area where we want the bird to come in. And we start playing these aggressive territorial calls. It's usually right around dusk because that's when the bird's most responsive, then and at night. At that point, the barred owls, if they're nearby and they're hearing the calls, they think that there's an intruder in their territory, so they quickly rush in to chase that intruder out of their territory. 
And if the bird is on the perch and the bird is facing us, then we go ahead and take the shot. We take in the carcasses, we look at food habits, we look at contaminants that we might find. We've looked at genetics on the species and are continuing to do that. Through the museums out there, we're storing the specimens and a lot of tissues so that future scientists can use this information also. We have a kind of unique ability here to work with uh, and look at questions of an invasion. It's not something that happens a lot in wildlife. Essentially what our, our removal crew is doing is acting like a predator of barred owls out there and acting as a cap on their population uh, that they don't have. They don't have any natural predators in the Pacific Northwest. We are not attempting to remove barred owls from the entire West Coast. Our purpose is to find out if there's a way for us to keep spotted owls around. 